prepped and ready with its offensive set. And Rochester back on defense. Six point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Spartans try to whittle into that deficit right here. Joseph Adames catches off the inbounds. This is Michael Marable at the controls. Drives down the baseline and draws a foul. That's on Obina Izura. Gave him a little bit of a hip check. And that's the second team foul on Rochester. Dames catches again. Fresh 20 on the shot clock for Northampton to work with. One in white seeing a lot of extended time today. Usually he plays five minutes. So is Purnell. No lane for a shot off the bottom of the backboard. And Lotz collects the rebound. Kind of a force there. No Cameron Givens in the game for Rochester. Berlin's still in. He swatted. Johnson just got that out of there big time. He actually put Berlin on his back. That's like a WWE takedown or something. Marable to Adames. Oh, my goodness. Jacob Lotz just tattooed that basketball. This is a, a block party. Foul. This is a block party here at the moment, John. It is getting wild and frisky here. That's the block you dream of when you're sleeping at night. Yes. When you can just slap it like that. Well done by Lotz, but Northampton sticks with it and earns some free throws. Marable at the line for a pair. Four points today has been rather quiet. Usually leads the Northampton team in scoring, but today it's been Xavier Goodman. First free throw up and good. Marable, a 2022 third team all region 19 honoree, scored 13 points per game. He's boosted it by about four this year. So how about that for year to year improvement? Goodman back in, 14 in white. And Marable two for two at the line. So the lead down to four for Rochester. Hearing LaPlante tell Jacob Loss to take him out. Not he like did that, take though. Him out. Lotz put his hip into Fuller, and he's still down. Coach LaPlante not a fan of the call. Fuller up under his own power. Another charge taken by 10 and White. Yeah, Tyrese Fuller, that heart and soul going at it once again. He's known as the glue guy, and it yes. seems like. He gets glued to a lot of people, if you will. <laughs> I actually like that. That's pretty funny. Thanks, Rudy. That's why you laughed, right? Yes. That wasn't a fake laugh, too, either, right? No, that was a true laugh. to do that to me. Thanks. That's big for me. Here's Goodman. Hands off to Fuller. Pirouettes and kicks out to Adames. And he pushed off. And Rochester will take that, too, to answer back on the push off. But for the first time in this second half, I have actually seen McCarthy get out of his seat. Now, remember, he's got one technical. He's been a little bit frustrated with the way the officiating has gone here today. He's been a little more laid back and cool, if you will, so far this half. Yeah, just, He's a fiery guy, but that's, oh, yes. that's his coaching style. You know, everybody yeah. has their own coaching style. He reminds style. me of when he coached at Brockport, his head coach, Greg Dunn. It's a lot like that, too, and I know that, too, working for Brockport. Dunham with his right hand. Rolled off his index finger and threw the basket. Lead back to six, and a turnover. Chance to build on it. Power play for the Yellow Jackets. Berlin, yes! Quincy Berlin, it's inevitable when he catches the ball, and he's wide open beyond the arc. That's his third three of the game, and he's up to 14 points. High point lead for the Yellow Jackets. Dunham with a takeaway. He just punched that inside. Just the, the player with it just did not see it coming. Like Floyd Mayweather. Exactly. Berlin kick out. Givens drives, pulls up. Can't roll it in. Offensive rebound to Zura. Off the glass. Biggest lead today, I believe, as well for Rochester. It's an 11-point advantage. How about a 7-0 run for Rochester? And it continues off the Marable miss. Givens hits the Nas, ducks in, and draws a defensive foul. 
That's on Goodman. And that's team foul number six on Northampton. So no fouls to give here, but Quincy Berlin, his three-point accuracy, you can see a smile right now on his face. That's like Steph Curry-like accuracy. He is nearly, if we look at the three-point stats today, he's four for six from downtown. That's nearly like Curry accuracy there in that situation. That's just well done, incredible. Correction, that was team foul number five on Northampton, so still one to give, should they want to do that. A couple subs for both teams. It's Bono, Azura, Smaller, Givens, and Dunham for Rochester. Ward, Goodman, Roberts, Adames, and Marable for Northampton. Foul off the missed free throw, it's on Dunham, and that's team foul number five on Rochester, so five on both teams. So now each team Good hustle by Ward to fight for the rebound. Absolutely. He's six, or rather has six points, but three of three from the floor today. Yeah, Keen Ward is 6'8", too. And he could easily grab those rebounds. Yesterday averaged 5.3 rebounds a game. Trouble on the inbounds pass. Last touch by Rochester, courtesy of Bono. That press, though, is giving Northampton some trouble. Shot clock reset to 30. It should be a 20. Yeah, 27. 27. I heard 20. <laughs> you got better ears than me. Yeah. Many do, honestly. I <laughs> blast my music way too loud in the car. I think anybody that knows me will tell you that. Trouble getting it over half court, and that's a turnover. Right through the hands of Marable. That's and Goodman upset. That's a rare turnover over you see for Marable. And yeah, Goodman should be upset at that. Says, dude, you gotta be better at that. That's, a, that's just the easy turnover you gave up, and Rochester has it in the front court. He bowled it like a bowling ball. Givens can't shoot it in. Ooh. Bono rejected. Kean Ward, get that out of here. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Givens gets it back. Fed inside, Dunham, turn around, Jay, doesn't get the bounce. Rebound to Roberts. Third rebound of the day for Keenan Roberts, put in some good minutes for Northampton, and a shorthanded Northampton team at that. Midway through the second half, 11 point lead for Rochester, and the turnovers keep on coming. Can you remember the last time Northampton had a shot? I can't. I can't either, it's crazy. It's been turnover after turnover for the Spartans. And that's why Rochester's up by double digits. Dunham, fakes, righty shot off. Missed everything, only got backboard. Marable down at treadmill, dishes off, blocked again. Bono with the second chance there. And those were their first shots in nearly two minutes. There you go, see? That Rochester press, very well executed. Bono with the Dames in his face, avoids the five second call with the dribble. Here is five, it's Givens, Givens for three! Cameron Givens, you could only hope to contain him. He can't be stopped. 55-43 Rochester, and Northampton calls a timeout. 